disastrous news, in fact, today from uh, the government. The FCC has decided that, nah, not that interested in net neutrality. Now, that's interesting because uh, they had made a lot of protestations uh, in the uh, Obama administration about how much they cared about net neutrality, and Chairman Tom Wheeler had promised uh, left and right and all around that he would protect net neutrality at all costs. Apparently, he was lying. So let me uh, tell you the latest. Uh, the FCC's plan would restructure the rules, oh great, that govern online traffic by granting internet service providers the ability to give some websites preferential treatment, i.e. faster traffic in exchange for money. Well, freedom on the internet, it was nice knowing you. Because that allows the internet providers, whoever they happen to be, Comcast, Verizon, whatever, there's internet providers all across the country, uh, to say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick winners and losers. Oh, did you say something against Comcast? Oh, funny how your website slowed down to a crawl. Hmm. Good luck trying to get anybody to go on your website. <laughs> we're screwed. Let me give you more details. If such rules were imposed, activists fear internet service providers would make bandwidth exhaustive websites, think Netflix and Skype, pay more for smoother delivery, which would theoretically mean higher prices for customers in turn. So there's the issue of higher prices as well. I'm a lot more concerned about the freedom of the internet and what we're allowed to say on there. But yes, for the consumers, you will be screwed in several different ways. In, in fact, Netflix already made a deal with Comcast to pay more for higher uh, connection speeds uh, because they knew this was coming down the road, apparently. They knew it better than we did. And, uh, and today, uh, Netflix, or I think it might have been yesterday, actually, Netflix announced that they will, in fact, be increasing prices for customers. Funny how that works, right? Uh, now, think about this. Netflix and Skype can at least afford it. They're giant corporations. Uh, what about people who are not giant corporations, uh, the voices of the people in a democracy? Well, we had the internet, so that was nice while it lasted. Uh, now, uh, any voices that uh, those huge corporations that are our internet providers want to turn down, they could just go, hmm. Huffington Post explains such pay-to-play schemes were banned under the old rules. Now, isn't that funny? Now, the old rules were under Obama, but also under George W. Bush. Now, Bush well, didn't love those rules, but he didn't change them. Uh, who changed them? <laughs> Is this what Obama meant by change? I'll make things worse than they were under George Bush? Now, that's certainly not the case in every category and every policy, but in the case of net neutrality, yes, today it just got worse than under Bush. So pay to play. And if you don't have money, we're going to shut you up on the Internet, too. Now, this, look at this one-two punch. The Supreme Court says the guys with the most amount of money can drown out everybody else's voice when it comes to politics, and they can just go ahead and buy all sorts of ads and buy politicians, etc. So your voice becomes inaudible in politics and in your own government and in our so-called democracy. Now on the internet they say, well, if you've got a lot of money, well, we could turn up the volume. If you don't have a lot of money, we're going to turn down the volume. They're literally drowning out our voices. This is a plutocracy. It's an oligarchy. The elite <laughs> rule us all. we got to get control of this before they ruin the internet for good. If we don't fight back immediately, if you don't get your government back, you're, of course this is what they're going to do. Now, some people still think, no, no, if I elect, just if I elect the right guy. Wasn't Obama the right guy? Didn't he, guy wasn't he the guy that promised all you, uh, you guys change and us change? And then what did he do? In instances like this, he made the government worse than it was before. More pro-establishment, more pro-elitist. <laughs> and uh, enjoy those words while you still can. Tomorrow I might sound like this. FCC confirmed that its proposal would offer broadband providers the ability to enter into individual negotiations with content providers. Great. So if you're a giant corporation, you get to have one of those individual negotiations. If you're not, sad day for you. Let alone if you piss off one of those internet providers or the government. Critics argued that the end of net neutrality could have far-reaching effects on U.S. society by stifling innovation, hindering cash-strapped internet startups from getting off the ground, and widening the gap between the rich's internet and the poor's. Great. Now we're going to have income inequality destroy the internet as well. 
And by the way, if you're one of the big companies that have to pay more to the Comcast of the world, like Netflix, you actually probably don't mind this. Because yes, that increases your cost a little bit. But what it also does is it kills off all of your new competitors. You want to start a new business, try to catch up Netflix? <sighs> all Comcast has to do is increase the prices, and you'll never be able to do that. So then you can't compete with the companies that are already established. And by the way, that is exactly what corporatism is. Capitalism, which I uh, believe in, gives birth to corporatism because it gives birth to corporations. And what do corporations want to do? They want to immediately kill their parents. They hate the free market. They hate capitalism. What corporations want to do is destroy the competition. What's the easiest way to destroy the competition? Buy off the government. Just change a couple of little rules. How easy is this? Just get rid of net neutrality. Now, now any new competitor online, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't have millions upon millions of dollars. You don't have billions of dollars. Well, we just had to change the rules a little bit so that we can now drown out your voice and kill off all of our competition so that we could be an even more entrenched oligarchy. See, this is how we get to the income inequality. This is how we get to the injustice. There's only one answer, man. If you don't get your government back, if you don't control your politicians, if you don't have democracy, if you don't have a republic, you don't have anything. The elites will rule us forever. You know what I think. Wolfpack. Wolf-pack.com. Okay? I don't tell you that because, hey, look, this is an opportunity to talk about Wolfpack. No, 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 no. If that does not succeed, and I, look, challenge any of you, you don't want to do it through Wolfpack, God bless your heart. Let me see you do it in another way. You've got to get the money out of politics. If these guys who have all this money control our politicians, of course they're going to set the rules in their favor. If you've got another way of defeating that, you've got another way of changing that, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. But the reality is, there's only one thing we can do. You've got to go to the Constitution. You've got to get an amendment. If you don't get an amendment, we're all screwed. And now, our window of time has gotten narrower. How long do you think it's going to take before all the internet providers start slowing down the websites that haven't paid enough or that they don't like the content of? How long is that going to take? You've got to go right now, man. Join us at wolf-pack.com. Otherwise, don't complain later because you sat on your couch while our government slipped away from us and now our internet slipped away from us. The one tool we had to fight back.